Chit, chit, chit. You already know it's your boy Joe. Back at it again. Codingface.com. Your boy is back and I done did it again. All right. So today is Tuesday challenge. Okay. So basically, I gave you guys last week the challenge of coming back, showing us something cool that you can do with HTML5 Canvas. Now, it's a shame that not a lot of people took this challenge and I know why, right? A lot of people, they like to come in and do the challenges that they can do, but they don't understand that that's why the word challenge is in there is because you're supposed to challenge yourself. You're supposed to try to do something that you haven't done, okay? Because there's really no point of me coming in and telling you guys, hey guys, today's challenge is try to make something with a div. You get what I'm saying? Like anybody can do that, right? You're supposed to challenge yourself. So shout out to the only two people that actually challenge themselves to create something and, you know, show it to us, right? So it is what it is, man. Um, I hope that the next time some of you guys really come in and try to do the challenges, man. It's not that hard. You could literally follow uh, things online on, you know, different uh, tutorials or find something on Mozilla's documentation. If I throw something at you that you don't know, those are the things that you're supposed to be excited about because that means that's going to get your brain working and actually build something that you've never done. Okay, this is what happens when you work at companies. You go in, they tell you, hey, man, we want you to build this. But then at the same time, you have to do something that you've never done before. If you're not comfortable with that, I don't know what I can I can do for you, all right? But <laughs> let's move on to the next thing, okay? So the first one we got here is from Paulo Ribeiro, okay? Uh, it's your boy Paulo. He's been busy. He's been doing the 365 Coding Face Challenge, and he also does the weekly challenges. So shout out to him, man. You know, he's really on his way to try to win this, right? So let's show it up. So here you go, guys. So what he did was actually create with the HTML5 canvas, right? He was able to create some mountains in the back, you know, uh, some little trees, right? And he got little shadows, okay? Like, he put in some work, right? Now, all of this is done with JavaScript, as you can see. You know, he really went in there. You know, he also has the little snow going in dropping real slow you know all of this is javascript right so this is a really good challenge i think this is a really good challenge to create something with html5 canvas okay now the next person that we have here i'm gonna tell you right now his name is Stian O'Kern. i hope that i'm not killing your name right now but uh Stian O'Kern, shout out to him so he basically he sent us a 365 coding face challenge right with rain dropping okay he also did this with javascript right here as you can see and yeah man it's pretty cool man i like the idea that both of you guys were like sort of in sync and you was like you know what one does snow another one does rain so that's pretty cool okay i hope you guys are able to see this sorry about that but yeah, man, it was a, a very simple challenge, right? You could have literally come in, do what they did, do some snow dropping, create an image, right? Create a character, create a, a happy face. You could literally build anything with the HTML5 canvas. You could build a small little game. Like there's so many things that you could do with it, okay? Um, but like I said, some people, I guess, they're not up to the challenge. They up to the easy things, but they're not up to the challenge. So it's pretty crazy, man. But shout out to Stian and shout out to Paulo Ribeiro. I think they both did great, but I'm going to give it to your boy Paulo Ribeiro because it's just it has extra things in there. You know, he got the mountains, he got the little shadows, you know, he got the trees, you know, there's like a little gradient on it the colors are nice got the snow so he actually went in there and went out his way and put in some extra work okay now for next week what i want you guys to do is challenge yourself right 
This is called a challenge, all right? I want you guys to challenge yourself and try to build something with a front end framework that you've never used, okay? If you've been doing Angular, try to do something with React next week. If you've been doing uh, React, try to do something with Vue.js. If you've been doing Vue.js, try to do it with React, uh, like vice versa, whatever it is, right? Choose like a, a, a front end framework out of left field, right? Try to build something with a random framework, something that maybe we've never heard of, something that uh, is on the come up or something that you're not comfortable with, right? That's the idea, okay? The idea is for you to challenge yourself. And yeah, man, let's see what people actually create for next week, okay? You can connect to an API. I mean, I feel like I, I have to give you guys everything. Like, not only do I have to give you the challenge, I have to tell you, like, what type of things you could do in the challenge. Like, no, like, I don't want to do that because then it's, like, kind of cheating. I want you guys to use your brain. I want you guys to, you know, try to challenge yourselves. That's why it's called a challenge. You know, the 365 coding phase challenge is a challenge because you have to code every single day. And that's hard because, you know, things come up in life and you got to go out, you got to take care of your family, da, da, da. But you got to find, you know, 10, 20 minutes throughout your day to do this. Now, when the weekly challenges come in, the thing about the weekly challenges that you're supposed to challenge yourself with things that you're not comfortable with. Okay, that's the point of a challenge, guys. All right. So anyways, man, if you're looking to learn how to code, guys, make sure you visit codingphase.com. And I'm going to tell you something, man. If you haven't subscribed to the new channel, it's called 24-7 Code Block. You literally come here to YouTube, right? Come here, go to YouTube, search 24-7 code block okay you come here and as you can see i just dropped a new video right i dropped the modern uh markdown uh crash course 15 minutes learn markdown right uh i just created a video for the web developer starter kit a uh, webpack for crash course gulp react right hashtag 24 7 code block go in here guys click in there subscribe if you haven't subscribed subscribed okay uh we're getting a new logo for this channel we're having a lot of cool things this channel is specifically for tutorials okay for those people that have been saying joe you don't have enough code you don't have enough you know tutorials you don't have enough work you know i'm here for the code there's a new channel i have specifically just for tutorials i'm only gonna stick uh, tutorials and crash courses and, you know, uh, different talks that I feel like you guys should also watch, okay? Um, like, you know, the power of WebAssembly. Like, some of you guys don't even know what WebAssembly is. You guys should know because that's the future, right? Uh, how to become an expert in Python. Some of you guys love Python. This is important for you guys to know, okay? Um, there's a lot of cool things that I have on this channel. I'm going to continue adding. So, pretty much, there's going to be two videos going on. There's a video going to be dropping here on codingphase.com at 1 p.m., right? And I'm going to try to drop a video every single day at 10 a.m. on 24-7 Code Block. So, if you are a fan of mine from this channel, go to Code Block 2. That's only for code, right? Here in this channel, what we do is we do all type of things. We talk about uh, things that's happening in the industry, how to get jobs, how to make money, right? That's all we do here, right? We talk about different things about the industry, right? And at the same time, I give you guys top 10 of this, top 10 programming languages, you know, etc. right? But if you care about the code, you care about what's going on in the industry, and you care about learning how to actually, uh, you know, do certain things, you know, you want a little qu quick crash course, or you want to do a tutorial, you know, something that you could do within an hour, or even less time than that, or 15 minute crash course on something, then 24 seven code block is the spot for you. So I want every single person that's watching this right now, I want you guys to subscribe to this channel, if you've never seen this channel before, subscribe to this channel and also subscribe to 24-7 Code Block. It's a child of Coding Phase, okay? It's the same family. Think of this like this. Coding Phase is the umbrella, 
right? And then under it, this other piece is there. So there's 24-7 code block, and there's this new project that we have called uh, Free Throws, right? Which is for you guys to practice online. So, you know, coding phase is expanding, but I want you guys to really go in here and, and you know, check out this channel. Trust me, man. What I'm telling you, if you're into tutorials, if you're into, you know, guys like uh, uh, Traversy Media, you're into... Uh, uh, the coding train you're into uh who else uh Derek Banners uh, you know like that's the style that we're gonna keep there where it's like it's nothing personal it's not me coming in there like che 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 you already know it's your boy Joe is literally straight to the point tutorials okay so if you're into that then that's what the channel is gonna be okay so anyways guys love you guys please do the challenge for next week okay please do the challenge for next week and I'm gonna remind you guys again Okay, it's supposed to be a challenge, so you could challenge yourself, right? And next week, you're supposed to come in and create something with a framework that you've never used before, right? If you've been stuck on the beginnings of, of JavaScript, now is the time to try to go into a front-end framework to try to build something for next week, okay? Now, if you've already been doing uh, other programming uh, languages or uh, frameworks, you know, front-end frameworks, right? Let's keep it at the front-end, right? You've been doing React, try Vue. If you've been doing Vue, try React. If you've been doing React, try Angular, you know, try HyperApp, try uh, Backbone, try Ember, try, you know, whatever's out there, Aurelia, like there's a million frameworks. Bring something that you've never used before, okay? Surprise me, surprise the audience, and yeah, challenge yourself. Come on, stop, stop, stop it, okay? <laughs> this idea that you want to do only the, the easy challenges, that's not a challenge, all right? Anyways, man, it's your boy Joe, back at it again, codingphase.com.